What is up, everybody? Pot Belly Pigs for life here. And today, we are back with another episode of our Augustus Zoo in Planet Zoo. Um, not much has happened. I didn't get, like, I didn't do much off camera. Uh, which I also think I forgot to add the coolers. Oh, uh, but they don't seem to be too. The rhino seemed to not be that upset about temperature. Look at them. Uh, lots of frolicking animals. I think the first thing I might do is... I might do this. Just move it forward a little. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, we got not much going on. Uh, animals seem to be doing all right. Our black wildebeest. So, the thing about most, um, ungulates or hoofed animals in this zoo is that they have horns. And the big difference between, and, um, there's a huge difference between horns and antlers. Horns stay on their, they stay on their skull. Um, so basically, the horns they're born with are the horns that they die with. Um, that's the case with wildebeest, antelopes, and um, um, gazelles, buffalo, you name it. Um, but um, some animals like reindeer, moose, they have antlers, um, meaning every few months or so they'll fall, they'll shed or fall off. And then in a few months, they'll grow new ones. White rhino is just basking in the sun. Maybe I'm pretty sure one of my is expecting. We're about to get baby um, rhinos. Yellow seem to be doing fine. It's laying down their shelter. Sable antelopes. Where are they? Oh, there you are. This is our female. Yep, our female. Oh, you're expecting two. Wow, we're gonna get quite a lot of zoo babies this episode. Oh, the only thing is you're expecting next year. And you are expecting any day now. Um. Alright, so. Oh, yeah, we're getting some more baby black wildebeest. And I think a few baby Nialas. August near. August year 7, so in a few months. Oh, uh, yep. She's about to have the baby. What about the other one? Alright, just next month. Where are you? Come on. Almost time, guys. Ah, oh, it's a baby. That's a girl. She's so cute. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. Just ate, and now my voice or my throat is like all phlegmy. <laughs> so you hear me. 
clearing my throat a lot in this episode. Oh. She's going for a little run. Oh, you're a cutie. Much as I could stay here all day and watch this, gotta move on to other stuff. Alright, after this, we'll check on our cheetahs, and we'll get our first animal in the, or I mean, our next animal in the zoo, which will be the Nile monitors. Uh, I just realized there's a huge size difference between the Nialas and the sable antelopes. Oh, more southern white rhino babies. Well, I mean, that's good, because southern white rhinos are, well, they're endangered. Because, like I said last video, um, they're being hunted for their ivory horns, which cost a lot of money, actually. Let's just check on our cheetahs, and then let's get down to business. Aw, oh, the whole family, all together. Just resting in the shade. Well, I mean, one ran off. Uh, here he is. They were just born last episode. Oh, they're so adorable. They're all just resting. One big happy family. So usually in the wild, the female cheetah will it'll just be the mother and the cubs. Not the male. Um Alright. Enough talking. Let's get started. Um Oh yeah, um cougars, uh, because I was in another zoo that I made like um that I made um it's like a South American themed zoo um so like cause cougars lived all over North and South America so I put them in my South American zoo um maybe the Maybe I'll ha I'll make an episode where I give you guys a tour. All right, so we need to make it so that way the guests can get a good view of. Oh, nope, didn't want to do that. Good view. Of no monitors. Perfect. All right. All right. So now the Niala had offspring. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? It's a girl! Yay! Just like her mother. Oh. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Everyone poops, kids. Everyone poops. <laughs> I just don't like that, like, they have to, like, climb over the grass. Why can't they just, like, walk through it? I mean, it probably has to do with, like, scenery, you know? <laughs> Big behemoth just crushed. Or, like, just walked over the thing. Oh, and we're about to get baby black wildebeest. Sweet. Um. Hear the cheetahs chirping. Um. Where? 
Oh, are they are are they already in their enclosure? Yes, they are. Hold up. Uh, yes, there are. They are. All right. What have we here? Terrain very not good. Um. All right. First of all, they need some. Um, they need some water that they can swim in. Got enough water? Oh. Yep, that's plenty of water, actually. Oh, baby black wildebeest. We gotta see this. Sorry, guys. Wait up, I wanna... Wait up, I wanna see how cute you are. Yep, you are so adorable. What are you? You're you're a boy. Oh, is that your mom? Yeah, it is your mom. Oh, <laughs> look at him. So adorable. <laughs> Alright. And now we need to focus on our Nile monitors. Um be honest, I don't really have that many facts about Nile monitors. I mean, there was that one episode of Wild Kratts, that show I told you that I watch on the first episode. The very my very first video, I told you that I watched Wild Kratts. I remember there was this one Wild Kratts episode where like um it was in um it was focused around Nile crocodiles. And so, um Yeah, it was focused around Nile crocodiles. Um and there was this one part where um there was a Nile monitor trying to dig up a um, nest of Nile crocodile eggs. Um, yeah, but I love that show. I don't really watch it that much anymore. But yeah, uh, when I was young, I used to watch that show like every morning. Alright, I mean... That looks pretty good. Um, foliage. Alright, they don't want too much of it. Uh, I'm gonna turn blueprints off. Um, so I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just do this real quick. And when it's done, I'll show you guys how it comes out to be. Alright, I think that this looks great. The grass and the trees. Alright, enrichment time. It's time for some enrichment. Oh, and it looks like we're getting more baby Nialas. Also, you guys don't care for hard chocolate, right? Yep, yeah, no, you don't. Alright, the food tray, I'll put right here. Put blood pumpkin here. Oh, there we go. Anything else? Nope. Um, I'll 
I'll do a rubbing board. I'll do rubber ducky. Little squeak. Um, a ball. And sprinkler. Put it right up close to the. What is this called again? Oh, yeah, the window. Sorry, I had a brain fart. <laughs> um. But yeah, this looks great. Um, Alright, next animal we are going to do today is the Spotted Hyenas. Um, I know a tad bit about Spotted Hyenas. Um, so, Spotted Hyenas... Um, so, Spotted Hyenas practice what we'd like to call osteophagy so osteophagy simply means they eat bones so they'll eat every part of the animal well i think um but yeah they eat their jaws are strong enough to crush bones and so because of that they regularly eat bones now um another thing about hyenas is that i know a lot of people like associate hyenas with scavenging or eating dead things. Now, while this is true that hyenas will sometimes eat already dead animals, um, they will also, they also mostly hunt for their food. So they, um, they do occasionally scavenge for food and they do sometimes eat leftovers from other apex predators like lions. But most of the time, they do hunt for their food. So yeah. Um. All right. Uh, another black wildebeest is just born. Um. Let's see. Oh, it's a girl. Wait, when when are we gonna get our baby? Right now. All right, next year. All right. So remember, it said February of year eight. Um. All right, hyena time. Oh, hyena's already here. Oh, and of course they're injured. Poor bugger. All right, we're gonna call the vet. Um. I'm just going to wait until... The other... Ah, here we go. The other... Oh wait, before... I keep going. I just need to pause and check. Um, where are they? Can they get out? No, they cannot. Okay, great. What about the hyenas? Can they get out? No. Alright. We're good. So... <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Alright. This hyena yeah. is not injured. <laughs> so... Let's get started. Alright, perfect harmonious balance. Yeah, I forgot we need hard shelter. I think I'll do plants first though. Alright, so like that, I think this looks really good. Um got a nice baobab tree, got some other trees. Uh this tree will move over just a smidge. Perfect. Alright. That, it's time for hard shelter. Alright, spotted hyenas. Alright, 
Alright. Who's there? Alright, how does that? Perfect. Next. Need a food tray. There. And last but certainly not least, enrichment. Um I'm thinking we'll do like a zebra pinata right in the grass. That way it's like they're stalking their prey. I also really love this, um, dog ball in the trunk. I'll put it here. Up our, um, our hyena is being treated for its injury. That's always good. Because nobody likes to see injured animals. Especially not myself. Cardboard box. Big ball. Big soccer ball. Yeah, there we go. Wait up! Oi, buddy, wait up! <laughs> wow. Look at him. All over the, all over the place. Okay, just running around, doing hyena things. I think we have time for like one more exhibit. Uh, we'll do our safari zone. Now this safari zone will be it'll be themed around the Serengeti. So, um, what do you call it? Um, excuse me, a bit tired. Um, so yeah, this will be giraffes, buffalo. Um, African buffalo, um, Thompson's, Thompson's gazelles, and one other animal. Uh, what was it again? Um, oh yeah, zebras. Zebras. Oh, yeah. <laughs> looks like our other hyena is good. Here, does this hyena look a bit grayer? Uh, genetic. Um, uh, gray fur with brown spots, and yours is golden fur with brown spots. Oh, that's cool. There's some difference between them. Nice. Um, all right, so now that the hyena has been treated for her injury, we can move our animals in. So, 
Let's get to it. Uh, Thompson's Gazelles. I got four of them. Send them over. I like these little packages of trees. Yeah, baby white rhinos! Just getting like some trees ready. Um. Yeah, baby white rhinos! It's time. For baby rhinos! Aww. Oh my gosh, this thing is so adorable! Oh yeah, we should probably get those generation boxes. Oh, oh, okay. Ah, uh, and ATMs. <sighs> Alright. Oh, I forgot to check. Are you a... Your girl. Okay. Um... Also... Um... Alright. Just checking. How many do we have? Alright. Three... Baby wood beast. Two baby sab two baby meowas, sorry. One baby sable antelope. And so far one baby wood rhino. Uh this uh now you guys are gonna get annoying with the temperature and that it's too hot. Come on, you guys live in the savannah. How is you guys are supposed to be like adapted to this type of stuff. Alright. ATM. Okay. I get an ATM. Alright, so where were we? Alright. New animals. But with the terrain. Alright. Perfect. We've achieved. Alright. For the buffalo, we are good. For the zebras, we are good. For the Thompson's gazelles, we need more short grass. Okay. Now we are good. Maybe though, maybe I will, um, put like some, um, soil along the, like, there we go. So yeah, for everything we are good, we're just waiting on the giraffes. Alright, let's unpause this thing. Um, I was about plants. Plants so far are fine. They don't like too many of them. But you know what? It's fine. Um, oh, they like need more plants. Alright. Oh my gosh, there is so much stuff that is going on. Alright. Bump up the twenty dollars. Alright, so more baby animals. Almost said dinosaurs. But yeah, more baby animals. Sorry, just adjusting my chair. Um Alright guys, so this is what I'm thinking for the um for my or for the I think it looks great in here. Um, so now it's hard shelter. And then, like the previous safari zone, we are going to do a center where, like, we're gonna have all the enrichment gathered in one specific area.
Still waiting on our giraffe, so I should probably unpause this. Heart shelter's fine. Plants are fine. Enrichment we need to worry about. Um Yes! Giraffes. Ready. Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah, we're good. Alright. Heart shelter? What's up with heart shelter? Oh, there we go. Alright. Alright, terrain-wise, they're fine. Plant-wise, they're fine. Alright, yep, they're alright. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, so, so, yeah, let's set up the enrichment center, and then I'll share with you guys some fun facts about these animals. So, let's, let's get started with the... African buffalo. So, start with the feeding station. Include this for the giraffes. Maybe I'll include some elsewhere too. And then I'll also include some feeders elsewhere. What's this? Plants! What, what, what is this used for? Beavers! Oh, that's so cool! I've never seen that before. Um. Alright, let's start with bison. Bison, bison, bison. Uh, no. Why, why did I just say bison? Buffalo. Bison are from Europe, Asia, or from Europe and America. Not Africa. That's just me being small brain. <laughs> that happens often. That's fine. It happens to the best of us. Okay. So, where to start? Start with this. Make one big one and then one small one. Right smack next to each other. And we'll do the barrel feeders. And and we'll also do a ball feeder. Oh, and they're all the same color. Nice. Alright, so in terms of food enrichment, we're good. Hey, why are you fighting? Are you guys both males? Oh, crap, why did I accidentally get two males? Alright, uh... Why'd I only get... What, what? How did that happen? Alright, it's it's cool. Don't worry. He'll be treated before he's sent on his way. Yeah, so in terms of food enrichment, we're good. Um... I will move these, though. Coin enrichment now. Pat. Coin enrichment. Let's start with a ball. One of these, like, bobbin toys. A rubbing pillar. And a giant mud bath. Oh, and let's not forget. A 
Hey, you know what? Let's do a few sprinklers. Hey, you know what? That's good. Seriously, the only animal that likes this is the giraffe. I mean, it's no big deal. Uh. Alright, giraffes are good. Buffalo are good. Zells are good. And where are the zebras? Zebras. Zebras are also good. Yep, we're good. Alright, no need to worry at all. Disease animal. Alright, one of the giraffes is sick. Alright, now we can get to the fun facts. So, first let's start with the giraffes. So, um, so fun fact about giraffes. So, see these horns on the top of their heads? Uh, well, I mean, they do act as, her as horns, but they actually have a specific name to them. They're called ossicones, and they are used to um, hit each other right in the neck to fight for mates. Um, ah, what's going on? Oh. They're maturing. Man, they grow up fast. Um, what else was I about to say? Oh, yeah. Um, another thing is, their black tongues, I'm pretty sure. The reason they're black is so that way they can prevent them from getting sunburned. Um, right, another fun fact about giraffes is that their long necks may appear for them. So... You may be thinking, giraffes, they have long necks, so, um, they must have more neck bones in their necks, to, which makes their necks larger than ours. Um, and that's actually incorrect. So, the, so humans, us humans, have a total of seven neck bones. And giraffes also have a total of seven neck bones. The only thing is, a giraffe's neck bone is much, much larger. Um, so yeah, um, gotta do some more management stuff. Um, Alright, you we can keep, we just need to do that so that way you don't inbreed. Now let's go on to where are our... Also, you know, I'll just move these slightly. All right, now it's perfect. All right, where are our zebras? Oh, wow, they're in a nice little herd. Um, so the fun fact about zebras, and as well as like a few other animals. Um, yeah, so like most um, hoofed animals, um, most so. Um, this is the case with zebras, who are what we like to call equines. So they're related to horses, and um, they're related to horses, mules, and donkeys. Um, so um, zebras are cud chewers. So basically, what they do is they eat the grass. The grass goes into their stomach. It like I think it softens a little bit. Then it goes back up into their mouth. They eat it again, or they chew it again, and then it goes back into the stomach and out the other end. Um, so yeah, um, I think that's just like a way of like re like reusing nutrients. It sounds gross, but I mean, if it works for the zebras, then it works. Um. Also, did you know that every zebra has a unique stripe pattern? Oh. 
Um. Yep, that's true. Looks like they're mating. Are they? No, I was wrong. Alright, uh, what's going on here? More guests think it. Well, I mean. Can't complain. Bring in the cash. I mean, even though we're in sandbox mode. Uh. So, what's going on? Oh, um. Looks like the, um. Our giraffe has been fully healed up. She's no longer got the sniffles. Alright, cheetahs are maturing. We need to release them. Um. Great conservation efforts. Because I'm pretty sure that cheetahs are also being hunted. Um, I'm pretty sure for their pelts, it could also be um, out of fear for, of livestock being eaten. Or maybe that's lions. I don't know. I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, next episode, we're going to do our final safari zone as well as our painted dogs and maybe we'll do lions if not that'll be definitely episode four and then episode four will also probably be hippos and flamingos and that'll finish up the african savannah and then we can move on to the congo river basin next video that i upload i want to I'm hoping is going to be my first update video for Poseidon Aquarium. Um, I still need to like find time to build it. Also, stop holding up traffic. I'm just gonna move you like a few inches this way. That way, you stop holding up traffic. Great. All right. Um. Yeah, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Um. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode if so do please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to see some more minecraft planet zoo and jurassic world evolution content and i will see you guys next time peace out